All right, guys, so we got to talk about a story that only happens in a country where uh, the lives of criminals matter more than the lives of law-abiding citizens and their property. As we got to talk about a dollar store general clerk who is now being charged with manslaughter at the police say he shot and killed an armed robber. The clerk said it was the sixth attempted armed robbery at the store since August. So, yes, you guys read that correctly. There was a law-abiding citizen, a dollar store general clerk who's there working his job, trying to feed himself and his family, right? Uh, and you have some thug criminal uh, come in to try to rob the place, and he has a weapon, right? He's an armed robber. Uh, the law-abiding citizen defends himself and the property of the store, and the law-abiding citizen gets charged. Again, this is a prime example of a story that you only read about in a country that is going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, where up is down, left is right, and the lives of criminals matter more than law-abiding citizens. Um, I want to show you guys a picture of the uh, clerk here, right? His name is Rufus Anderson um again this is the law-abiding citizen that you know decided to protect himself and the store's property and is now being charged uh for <laughs> it says all persons are pursued innocent until proven guilty yeah i mean unfortunately in this case right here um i, I think this guy is innocent <laughs> right i think this guy's innocent he shouldn't even be uh charged at all right if the story is accurately being reported um but I think I kind of know why they charged them. It's just that, again, we live in a country where, again, criminals uh, get more consideration and protection in law-abiding citizens. So without further ado, let's go ahead and read about this because this is kind of crazy. A Dollar General employee in Louisiana has been charged with manslaughter after police said he shot and killed an armed robber at his store in Monroe, Louisiana. The police report said Rafis Anderson was working at the Dollar General in downtown Monroe, Monday, when an armor, a man robbed the store. Police said Anderson fired a shot that hit the man and a customer as the robber fled the store. So basically, the robber comes in, he robs the store, and as the robber leaves, uh, Anderson, the store clerk, shoots the robber, right? So the, the, the robbers run out the door, and, and he shoots the robber. And he also struck a customer as well, too. Um, let's read more here. Police responding to the shooting said they found the robber north of the store lying in the money he had just robbed the store of. According to the report, he later died from the injury. Dollar General did not immediately respond to a request for comment. At the close of the store, Anderson turned himself into authorities. The report said he told police it was the sixth attempted ro armed robbery at that location since August including four successful robberies and that he was afraid the robber was going to kill him. Anderson was released Tuesday without bail and scheduled to appear in court Wednesday. A 2020 investigation from the New Yorker and ProPublica found that dollar stores were a frequent target of armed robberies because of both their locations and less affluent neighborhoods and their reliance on cash for transactions. Quote, in a lot of these areas, they're the only stores around. B.J. Bethel, a reporter with the local NBC affiliate in Dayton, Ohio, told the outlets at the time. For robbers, he added, it's the only place to get cash. More than 85 shootings occurred in 2022 at or near businesses with the word dollar in the name, according to a database maintained by the Gun Violence Archive. Uh, discount retailers like Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Dollar Tree are opening more stores than any other retail category in the U.S. As Americans change their spending habits, Dollar General led the pack by a wide margin with more than 1,000 new stores, according to data from CoreSight Research. All right, so here's the thing. Um, the reason why this person was charged was definitely because the robber ran out the door after robbing the store right he wasn't charged because he hit the customer right wasn't charged with that um who you know thank god the customer recovered okay uh but he was charged literally because the robber was running out the door which is something that i i disagree with but this happens more often than you think particularly when an intruder of a home 
or somebody that's breaking into your property, like a car or something, if they run away, if they retreat, then you can't really shoot them, right? Stand your ground does not apply. Like, for example, in this case right here, involving a, a man out of Cary, North Carolina, who was charged with shooting uh, a guy that was breaking into his car. And then once the guy ran away, uh, the guy shot him and uh, he got charged. Take a look. A Cary homeowner charged with felony assault is not protected by the state's self-defense laws. This comes after he shot a man investigators say was breaking into his car. WRL's Amanda Lamb is at the Wake County Justice Center where the homeowner appeared before a judge today. Amanda? Deborah, Hang Yeah is charged with felony assault. He was here at the Wake County Justice Center in front of a judge in a courtroom today. And, you know, you may look at this case and say, well, why do self-defense laws like the Castle Doctrine and the Stand Your Ground law not apply here? We asked attorneys to weigh in. So, sir, you have one charge pending against you, and I'm going to advise you of your rights. 51-year-old Hang Ye had a Mandarin interpreter in court to help him understand his charge. What some don't understand is why Ye, who says he shot 25-year-old Larry Clinton Jr. during a car break-in in his driveway, is not covered by laws like the Castle Doctrine and the Stand Your Ground law. If convicted, you would have the possibility of 231 months in prison. The Stand Your Ground law would not apply um, in a car break-in. Criminal defense attorney Lee Turner says the shooter must be inside the car or home and face imminent danger. There's a key term in that law is that you occupy something. If you see someone breaking into a car whether it be on your property out by the street, you really don't have a right to defend that car with deadly force. Investigators say Clinton was running away when he was shot. He was discovered in a neighbor's yard. It's scary that we could have been shot. Two bullets pierced the side of the neighbor's house where a family was sleeping. Uh, I feel that he, somebody shouldn't be shot, shooting at my property, and it's not a good idea to chase somebody and take law in your own hand. That's my view. Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman agrees. There, there is no law that provides that a private citizen um, in those circumstances as somebody is running away without a threat to anybody else can take matters into their own hands and shoot someone. Now, yeah, and his attorney, as they left the courthouse today, declined to talk. I did speak to Clinton's mother just a little while ago. She's by his bedside at the hospital, and she says his son, her son, has a long road to recovery, Deborah. Amanda Lamb, live in Raleigh. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah, so as you can see there, a, a similar situation, right, in which a guy got charged uh, for shooting a guy that was robbing his car, right? He was carjacking him, and uh, he ended up shooting him. Now, uh, you know, the neighbors were upset because, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. You might hit my house or whatever. Like, I get that. I, I understand all that, right? And just like in this, this dollar store scenario, um, you know, the clerk did end up shooting one of the customers. But again, if you're going to charge a person, right, with, you know, I don't know, being reckless or, you know, something like that or, or for shooting a customer, then fine, charge him with that, right? I, I, I would not disagree with that. But there should be no charges or no punishment related to shooting a criminal because I believe that when a criminal enters your property, right, you see them uh, you know, trying to take stuff out of your car or coming into your house or whatever, you have the right to protect your property, even if the criminal runs away. I personally do believe that even though the law disagrees, I believe that. And one of the reasons why I strongly believe in it is because if we have more laws, uh, upholding the second amendment, right? So that, uh, citizens can protect themselves and their property. Then you will have less of this, right? A criminal knows that, well, all I got to do, if I try to break into somebody's house or their car or rob a store, if I just run away, right? If I just run away, then the person might not shoot me. I might not get harmed because they're going to get charged. They don't want to get charged and go to jail for it. Then all that does is encourage more criminal activities, right? But if a criminal knows that, damn, even if I run away, <laughs> Right. Even if I try to get away, if somebody shoots me in the back, I'm I'm done like that. that they're not going to be punished for it. Then they're probably less likely to commit that crime. They'll probably think two or three or four times before they do it. But unfortunately, we don't live in a society like that anymore. Uh, we live in a society for of uh, social justice warriors uh, disguised as D.A.s. Right. 
Um, and, and that's just what it is. These DAs are activists. And this is the type of stuff you get from activists. You charge law-abiding citizens uh, with manslaughter for defending their property. And I'm not one of these type of dudes that think that, oh, well, somebody's life is more valuable than my property. <laughs> no, I don't believe that, right? Because it's my property. And I have the right to defend my property, okay? You shouldn't be trying to take my property, okay? If you value your life over my property, then don't try to take my property. It's very simple. It's very simple. But again, you know, uh, these people, for whatever reason, we have a society where we, we value the lives of criminals, people who put law-abiding citizens in tough situations like that in the first place trying to commit crimes, trying to steal, trying to rob. And in situations like that, uh, innocent people do end up getting killed, okay? Um, and then, you know, people wonder why this stuff is happening is because we're emboldening criminals, right? We're emboldening them. We're creating and crafting laws to protect them and to make sure that they can stay alive and that, you know, if somebody hurts a criminal, you know, or whatever, then... They're going to get charged. They're going to get punished with it. Again, I understand if the guy is charged, if he shoots somebody else's property accidentally uh, in the line of trying to shoot the criminal or to put down the criminal for stealing property. I get that. I, I can't disagree with that. But in this case, it, as far as I can read and as far as I can tell, as far as what we know, uh, he wasn't charged with shooting the customer. He was only charged with shooting the criminal, right? Which is... In my opinion, it's just unjustified, okay? And I think that, uh, again, this is just another example of the erosion of our Second Amendment rights in this country in favor of criminals who don't follow any of these laws, right? They don't follow gun laws. They don't follow law at all. That's why they're criminals. Um, and, and they have the upper hand because law-abiding citizens are handcuffed, again, by these activist DAs and these laws designed to protect criminals and criminal activity. It really is a shame. If we gave law-abiding citizens more power uh, and rights to protect themselves and their property, you would see a lot less of this, right? You would see a lot less of this. Criminals would think two and three and four times before they decide to run up in a Dollar General or a store or somebody's house or break in somebody's car trying to steal stuff, knowing that they could get smoked, right? And that the person that's smoking them is not going to get punished for it. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.